I got home from work like not so long ago. I'm just here chilling, detoxing from all that bullshit. You know it takes time to detox. It takes time. You can't just get home and, you know, it takes time. It could take like an hour. It could take two hours. It could take three. It could take a, a bubble bath. A walk at the park with your dogs it might take a fucking smoking a joint it might take three or two shots it might take fucking going shopping and splurging yourself it might take doing getting a massage it might take um exercising it might take going for a walk around the neighborhood it might take watching a comedy movie it might take a conversation with your friend it might take having to go do your grocery shopping it might take this, it might take that, but it's going to take something. Unless you absolutely, lutely, tootalutely love what you do and it doesn't feel like a job, like something that's draining you and taking your energy away, then you might just get home like, you know, all fluffy and stuff like a cloud and very like super happy like a butterfly, you know, but otherwise you're going to get home, you're going to be like, fuck. You're going to want to put on your onesie, maybe just your PJs, whatever the fuck you got to do. You might have to turn on some music and just blast that stuff, you know, until it feels better. Until you feel like you have detoxed from all that poison, which is work. Work is slavery, you know what I'm saying? And then, if you're a girl, it feels like a little bit more stressful, you know, because you get your period and your back hurts. Your tummy hurts, your boobies hurt, your head hurts, your legs hurt. I mean, everything hurts, you know? And they say that women are very moody around the time of their period. In my personal opinion, I, I don't think that women are moody. I think women just don't want to be bothered, you know? Because it's a time where you just have to rest. And a lot of women, they have to get up at, like, at different times of the day. Not For me personally, I get up at 6, but there's people that get up earlier than that you know or maybe they go to work in the afternoon and it's like fuck man no matter what time it is of the day if it's that time of the month and you got to go to work you got to go to work so it's like it feels like it's even worse for me you know because i'm as a girl i'm not saying that what guys go through doesn't count it counts of course it does but like i have something extra an extra baggage that i have to add on to that you know I'm barely getting home right now, de-stressing from all that stuff, you know? And then by the time I'm done de-stressing, like I said, it could take 30 minutes, it could take two hours, it could take the rest of the night. Some of us even need years to de-stress from this shit. I've been working for 20 years. Now imagine, imagine people that have been working for years, they're like 70 years old and they're like extending the age limit right now until like you have to work until you're fucking creaking and cracking and shit until you're 80 motherfucking years old and then we can think about giving you some sort of like compensation for all the slave work you've done for us it's it's ridiculous <clears throat> so i can't even imagine like how it feels for me you know i'm tired and stuff and people are like why are you so tired you're so young and this and that h doesn't have anything to do with work being slavery or not your mind can be tired you can be exhausted mentally not just from your back you know from like exhaustion doesn't just come from working hard blood sweat and tears comes from mentally being stressed out you know and working really hard yes of course so can you imagine people that are older and they get home from work and it's like oh fuck you know like they think that because you're young, oh, they're young, you know, they can, they can do it, they have many years in them, you know, left, they have lots of energy, but it's not just the physical labor that tires you, it's the feeling of, I feel trapped, I feel like I'm caged, and that is tiresome, not just the physical labor, you know, so there's so many people that are trapped, everyone is a, a slave and if they don't think they're slaves they're just they're just comfortable slaves maybe they make enough money so that they don't have to work so many hours so to them the time that they invest is doesn't seem that long like an hour to them might even be a minute but an hour to us 
feels like a whole month like oh my goodness like I don't want to I just I can't stand giving my time and energy to this thing that is draining me and leaving me empty of it's like killing me inside you know hi baby um i'm always happy when i come home and i spend time with the people that i adore that i choose to be around like my pets and my family and stuff like that it's not easy and that's why people find different things that help them escape this reality it's not because they want to leave the earth and leave it's not because they want to die it's not because they're suicidal it's not because they hate their life it's because a lot of times we are put in situations where it's difficult for us to get ourselves out of it and it's not difficult because we're lazy or because we don't know how to do it or because we're incompetent it's difficult because the system makes it difficult. So then it's like, oh, fuck, you know, I'm stuck. I can't get out of here. So people find different things to escape. You know, like I said earlier, it could be a movie. It could be um, walking your dog. It could be sewing. It could be crocheting. It could be drawing, you know. It could be whatever you want it to be. Everyone's mind works differently. Everyone's situations are different. So they're not going to need the same escape you know um some people like to gamble some people like to do drugs some people like to read some people like to go play bingo some people like to go dancing some people like to take um cooking classes it could be whatever whatever makes you feel better whatever makes you feel alive whatever makes you feel like Oh, like you're not doing that one thing, that which is not fulfilling your body, mind, or soul, or in spirit, you know? Because the human being was designed to create and to experience to live, not to be... It was meant to create, to design, because it's a machine. It's a wonderful computer and because it's not able to do what it was designed for it feels like it's in a rat cage just going back and forth so you know that's wrong it, it shouldn't be that way we should be free it's sad that some people believe that they need to die so that they can experience happiness which is like being in heaven you know heaven should be here on earth right now and it sucks that it's not because there's a lot of people that are suffering right now not just because of work because of many other things there's many people suffering and it's not just because work is slavery it's because they are in bondage of time and money and many other bad situations, but it's the bondage, being stuck. The system keeps it this way because it works for them, for the system. It works for them that we are at the bottom going like this and like just working really really hard and just keeping them up there like oh are you guys okay are you guys okay and all the ones that are up there they're just looking down like Psh, Psh, work harder motherfucker Psh. and we're over here like oh my gosh we're doing our best and stuff you know and that's not fair it's not fair that the system is that way it shouldn't be that way because this is our land this is our flat earth plane land and they came over and they took they took over how by dumbing people down, by keeping people distracted, entertained with stupid shit that doesn't matter, by separating genders and families, by taking the woman out of the house and making her work, by creating feminism, you know, by all this stupid stuff that they did to us. Why? Because they don't have good intentions. 
because they have all this knowledge and they don't reveal the truth to us because they want people to continue to be enslaved because it works for them. And people need to wake up. People need to see this. Everything on the flat earth is yours. The water, the food, electricity, all that good stuff. It's all yours. I mean, who said that? Who came in here and said, fee fi fo fum this is my land. Now you're going to do what I tell you. Like, what? Why? What makes you better than me? I don't get it. We all bleed uh, the same, right? Hopefully you bleed. Hopefully you have blood to spill. Hopefully you have blood to spill and there's blood running through your veins. Hopefully you have a soul, right? Because only a person with no soul, with no compassion, with no empathy, who's not alive and who's dead inside would do this this to us you know would do this wickedness it's wicked everything they've done is just so wicked it's crossed and confused and twisted and backwards it's like they've grabbed our minds and they've tormented your mind they have traumatized your mind and people are so separated from the truth because at one point we knew the truth, in my opinion, but it's like we're like super many generations away from it now that people can't see it, you know? They can't tell what's real from what's not real. Work is slavery. And they've been training us to be good little slaves, obedient slaves since we were little. In school teaching us to get in a straight line and all that stuff you know <sighs> we need to bring forth heaven on earth and release everyone from bondage so that people can have time to spend with their loved ones and so that people can have time to create and come up with things that make them happy that make them feel alive that's what we need to do. That's what needs to happen. But for now, I'm just going to relax and take as much time as I need to. You know, like I said earlier, it might take 30 minutes. It might take two hours. It might take a few minutes. It might take a whole year, you know, years to detox from this. And by the time you're done detoxing, it's almost time to go to bed. And it's like, oh. I had no time for myself to do the things that I wanted to do. And sometimes you don't even have time to detox because you have other things to do like chores, dishes, laundry. You have to go grocery shop. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to do homework. You got to work an extra job. You got to take care of kids. You got to take care of parents. You have to do whatever it is. Sometimes you don't even have time for yourself. You don't have time to detox. So your detoxing has to be done while you're doing your chores. And it's not easy to detox while you're doing your chores because it feels like work. So it's like a second job. You work at work and then you come home and you do more work. So when the fuck do you ever have time for yourself? It's hard, dude. It's just not right. If you ask a child the same question, like, hey, do you think it's fair that this person gets to enjoy all these luxuries and stuff, and then this person doesn't, I bet the child would say, of course not. It's not fair because a child can see the pain and suffering of another child, you know, or of, a, of an adult. Like they can sense it, they can feel it because they're still alive, because they have their soul. And a lot of these adults, they're walking but they're like dead inside so they can't feel they have no feelings they have no feelings but i'm glad i'm alive i'm very much alive and i'm gonna bring forth heaven on earth and release everyone from bondage whether people they clearly don't have good intentions and they don't care about us because they could be using television, radio stations, magazines, books, movies, all of that good stuff, cell phones. They could be using it to teach humanity to have love for one another and to treat each other right, 
to have each other's backs and stuff like that, you know? They could be promoting truth. They can be telling us things that are going to improve us and make us better people, but instead they promote violence and a lot of things that are very disrespectful that separate genders and families and that people try to emulate these things and then they go out there and they're like well they did it on tv so my favorite celebrity did it so i'm gonna act like that too and you know so yeah they don't have good intentions because if they did they would have done something good about it already what did they intend it's about what did you intend to do about it and their intentions are to kill us off but first they want to use us and abuse us exploit us take as much energy from us as they can make us work so that we can build buildings for them build roads so that we can do all these things for them keep them comfortable that the way that they are living with golden toilets and golden ceilings for real like what do you need that for you know and they're happy we keep them safe by protecting them and doing all these things for them and because they're safe and comfortable they're happy and we're over here suffering and stuff you know what i'm saying that's not right it should be happiness and heaven on earth for everyone there shouldn't be billionaires and then people living right outside their home like within blocks in Beverly Hills, about a couple hours away from where I live, there are beautiful, expensive homes. And within a few blocks from that, there's people homeless, living in tents, who are cold and hungry. And they all have different stories, I'm sure. People always talk bad about homeless people and they say things like, well, they're homeless because they want to be, or they're homeless because they're um, addicts or this or that or whatever, but we don't know that. We don't know how hard they've worked and maybe their situation was so difficult that they had no other choice but to be homeless. I'm sure some people do like being homeless, you know, because they don't, they don't like this control. But what I'm saying is it shouldn't be this way. Everyone should be living in heaven. Heaven is coming to earth, whether people like it or not. How? I don't know. I don't have the answers to everything. I just go by what feels right. I follow my heart. I listen to my gut feeling. I listen to my, my intuition. I listen to my instincts. And so far, it's been leading me in the right direction. So, as of now, I will continue to keep my eyes on the prize and just lay low, stay out of trouble, treat people right, and do what I have to do, you know? And that's what's up.